this video everything you need to know how to set ignition timing on Mazda B2600 or B2200 in simple steps straight to the point let's get started if you are doing the ignition timing for the first time on your new Mazda pickup truck I will definitely recommend you to set the first cylinder in the top dead center and verify that make sure everything's in proper place and for this vehicle ignition timing is supposed to be five degrees before top dead center and we just need 21 mil socket and turn the crankshaft pulley right, let's set our first cylinder five degrees before top dead center as you can see here's a notch on a, a crankshaft pulley i marked it red with a red paint and here's a marks on a housing the t t stands for the top dead center as you can see six and six on another side and each mark is a two degrees and as we know already we need to set it to five okay so it's two four six and here's a five okay now we know our crankshaft and first piston in five degrees before top dead center let's check our distributor just by taking the distributor cap off and as you can see this wire is for cylinder number one and what we have to see that a rotor should face this cylinder see how it's mounted and you open it up the cap as you can see there's a rotor and contact points are facing cylinder number one this is a start point for doing the ignition timing now we're ready to put this cap back we verified it means our piston in five degrees top dead center okay we are good with that make sure you have your wrench removed from the pulley now we're going to start the vehicle and warm up to the operating temperature okay clutch in and yeah. let it run and get it warm up next step turn your all electrical loads off like your fan your lights everything should be off at this point and yep Sounds like that okay good you got it good next step connect the jumper wire i am using just the alligator clip on one end and this is a piece of wire and connect the wire to the test port green male connector like so put it in and find a good ground this way will isolate the computer from adjusting the ignition timing and we only will be adjusting timing manually okay. find this um, information plate on your vehicle as you can see this five degrees before top dead center because this is mass 2600 connect your ignition timing light and uh, we have the two alligator clips for the battery terminals connect the negative and positive the negative and connect the positive and then, and then connect the pickup clamp and you need to connect it this uh, clamp facing down and we are connecting to the spur plug wire number one like so there you go this is our pickup make sure no wires or cables can get into the uh, fan or belt make sure we are safe Let's go from this way, this side. Okay, we are in one over one. Good, just stay away from the hot exhaust. Our ignition uh, timing light connected, and now we're going to start the vehicle and check our current ignition timing, and we'll do some adjustments as necessary. Okay. Our ignition timing light connected. Let's first verify our current ignition timing. We have ignition timing light. We'll just press this trigger and face it down on a crankshaft pulley where the timing marks on the housing. As you can see, 
when light is flashing on that red mark on the crankshaft pulley is approach is just right below the top of that tender something at like two one degrees as you can see we need to go down three four degrees roughly we're at two degrees right now before top that center we need to advance it a little bit okay now i'm going to turn the distributor counterclockwise and watch the mark see mark is moving up we have three or four and we need to stop at five between four and six check it out can you see Okay, this is our ignition timing settings. We're at five degrees top dead center, and now we tie the distributor at this position. Means we set our timing to required manufacturer specifications to five degrees top dead center. Yeah, tight both bolts. On the carbureted engines, you will have the vacuum line coming down to the distributor. What you need to do, you just need to unplug the vacuum advance control line and cap it on both sides. That way you will not have the vacuum try to advance the timing. And you do the same thing what we just done. Let's check it again and see if it stays in place. Yep, as you can take a lift down and our notch on the crankshaft pull it just above the second mark on the top of the center, which is five degrees. There we go. This is how you adjust the ignition timing on Mazda B2600, 2200 series pickup trucks very simple just follow the basic steps if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section below and go and subscribe to the channel mazdas are so good and let's help them keep going don't forget to connect the ground wire to your blue terminal and yeah see you soon take care